To set up SMTP settings on all Pro Web Tools, we recommend you use what's called Mandrel. So let's go ahead and set up a Mandrel account. First of all, you'll want to go to mandrel.com, M-A-N-D-R-I-L-L.com. They are accompanied by MailChimp and are renowned for their uptime and their delivery rates. So let's go ahead and sign up for account. Click sign up. And right here, you'll want to enter your personal email address and the password limit is 10 characters, just an FYI, and agree to their terms. Alright, they're going to ask you a little about yourself, but you don't have to answer if you don't want to. I'm going to push no thanks for the video. Alright, so here is your account. At first you don't have anything loaded. So let's go ahead and set up some SMTP credentials. So get SMTP credentials and you don't have any API keys, you're going to need one of those. So let's go ahead and click Add API Key. Alright, so now let's go ahead and copy this host. They have a convenient little button here you can click so you don't have to right click. Let's go back to your email settings page on All Pro Web Tools under SMTP settings and copy in that host under Mail Server. And then come back to your Mandrel and copy the port. Go back to your All Pro put in the mail port and then your username is just that username you just created and come here and then your password is that API key you just created it's just this random string of characters so let's go back here and put in your password and update information alright now there is the basic way to set up SMTP so if you're just doing very basic things and you don't really care if it goes into the person's spam folder or not um, you can stop now. However, if you do care about um, unsubscribe rates and spam folder deliverability rates, um, stay with me. Alright, so the next step is to set up a webhook. This is what enables us to know if the user unsubscribed from your email or if it got bounced or if it was rejected from the server, anything like that. So let's go ahead and um, click on email settings and here you'll see a whole bunch of little instructions if in case you don't want to watch this video again and copy the mandrel URL account one so let's go over back to your mandrel and scroll up and go to your settings and then webhooks and this is all explained on that page as well so you don't have any webhooks right now so let's add a webhook and let's copy that URL here and then go back here to see what it tells us to check so we need unsubscribes, bounce, spam, and rejected. So we have unsubscribes, bounced, spammed, and rejected. All right, and you can type in all pro web tools here as a description, although it can say whatever you want. Let's go ahead and create that webhook. All right, and that's what enables us to know whether or not the email address you sent to was good or not. All right, to take it one step further, I could set up DKM and SPF. That enables you to basically have a almost close to 100% rate um, of not going into spam folders and have a delivery rate that is that you can be proud of. <laughs> All right, so let's go up to the settings and then sending domains. All right, we haven't set up any sending domains yet. These are automatically filled out as you're using your Mandrel account, but since this is a new account, we don't have any. All right, so. In order to set up DKM and SPF, you must, must have an email address that ends in your domain name. So let's say your domain name is sarahsflowershop.com. You would have to have an email address that was, for example, info at sarahsflowershop.com. However, anything before the at sign could be your name. It could be anything you wanted to. The most important part is it has to be at your domain name. All right, so let's go ahead and set up a sending domain. I'm going to put in who I'm going to set it up for right now. So let's go. All right, and let's add that. All right, so you see I have that added, and then we have a big giant X by DKM and SPF. So this is fairly simple. Let's just click on View DKM Settings, and let's say it just we don't have any text records for this particular domain. All right, so if you have a GoDaddy, this will be pretty simple. But if not, um, the same terminology is used 
throughout all pretty much all DNS managers. So let's go over to the GoDaddy that I have open. And let's go ahead and add a text record. It's called TXT. It's what um, enables DKM and SPF to work properly. So let's put in for the host just there. Write anything in, up in front of your domain name, the little subdomain. And then let's copy this long string of gobbledygook. <laughs> and copy that and go back over here and put it in as the text value. All right, and we're going to add another one for that SPF. So let's close this window and now click on view SPF settings. All right, so SPF settings, it doesn't need anything for the domain. So let's just copy this and then just put in the text value as that. So you can see the host is blank on the SPF but not on the DKIM. And actually GoDaddy requires you to have an at sign there, but most um, DNS providers don't do that. It just depends on your DNS provider with that one. So let's click Save Zone File. And this does take an hour to propagate for DNS. So if it doesn't work right away, wait an hour or sometimes two, and then it should give you 100% deliverability rates. So in an hour, and wow, that was fast. <laughs> All right, so now we have DKM valid and SPF valid. This warning right here should go away soon. That's just what I was talking about, where the DNS takes a while to propagate. All right, so let's get your domain verified now. That's just one extra step that just gives you, you know, 100% sure that you're actually going to do what you're going to do. All right, so let's click on this verify domain button right here and click in, put in a email address that you have access to that is at your domain. So I'm going to put in alright and send verification email alright and that shouldn't take long to get you to you so just go ahead and go to your inbox and click on the new email that you should have and here's what the email looks like. You'll just need to click on this little link here in the middle and if you will need to be logged into your mandrel. I'm already logged in but if you weren't just log in again and and click through. So now we have three green check marks. That's what you want. So it looks like we're all set up here. We have the S SMTP settings all filled out. We have our webhook and we set up DKIM and SPF.